Hey, what's up? This is Unrivaled Skyrim. This is going to be a Total War Rome 2 online battle replay. Um, this was a 2v2, and I was joined by my good friend Soryoung, who's on the other t uh, other side, and I was joined by Peninsula uh, as my ally. Um, they're both in my Total War Rome 2 tournament, my last one, and they're real good players. Uh, and we're also joined by uh, K of Geo. I'm just going to call him Geo for short. Um, playing as Epirus. Vinsla is playing as Flibby, Soryoung is going as Carthage, and uh, Geo is Rome. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, there you can take a look at my army. This was a uh, somewhat hilly and very forested map, so I didn't go with a whole lot of cap. I went with more of a balanced build. So I got four Levy Pikes. I think I got three uh, Royal Peltes, which is real good sword unit. Um, my general is one of them. Two Aspis companions, real good unit of melee cab, and one Hippi um, I was gonna say Hippias Lancer, um, Thessalian cab. I got two Javelin men, one Peltes, and two um, Hoplites with two Illyrian levies, uh, which are cheap units of um, uh, melee units. Let's go with, let's see, um, Soryoung's army, he's got a unit of uh, Carthaginian general. He's got one Carthaginian calf, five mercenary campaigning calf, I think four um, late Libyan hoplites, and five um, Libyan infantry. So very good infantry. He's got a rush build. Um, ben Venesla, he went with um, more of the same kind of uh, approach with Swebby and um, with a rushing attack. Now Rome, he was going more of a, I think of a balanced build, honestly. Uh, some Epicotti cohorts, some Praetorian Cav, and, um, you know, a lot of Syrian, heavy Syrian archers. So he's going more of a balanced uh, approach. And certainly I kind of try to do the same thing. I have no um, long-range missiles, but here you're going to take a look at the uh, initial deployment. I deployed on the right while Vin my ally Vinsla, he's got the left. Um, he's deployed adjacent to um, Soryon. So in the center, he's got two units of Berserkers. He's got sword masters on both flanks, four of those. He's got some Monas spears to um, protect it from a cab charge and potentially help out his cavalry. Uh, he's got two Germanic scout riders over here, one right there, and his general is in a noble rider. And he does have one unit of Germanic use. Um, and I, I put one of my Thessalian cab um, near uh, his right to kind of try to help out in the cab engagement. Um, so Soryoung, he's going to move forward with some companion cab and some mercenary companions, or, or excuse me, uh, Carthaginian cavalry. And Rome, yeah, over here, uh, I guess he wanted to be defensive because he deployed these stakes over here. But now he's going to go um, offensive. He's put a lot of upgrades on these Avocati cohorts. And here, I was screening my advanced, my mercenary companion cavalry. I wanted to grab this ridge over here because it's very forested and hilly. Um, but I encounter, he has two Praetorian cav. I don't know if they activated Draco. No, it looks like they haven't. Um, but he has his general here, which has three experience sh uh, upgrades. Um, so I'm going to try to rush in some... Uh, some Peltas and some two of my units of Hoplites to help rush in and help. Um, here, Suryoung charged into my Thessalian cab. I didn't notice until it was too late, and I knew that my Thessalian was going to die immediately. Um, plus, he had some late Libyan Hoplites helping out over here, so I'm going to have to run that unit over away from the battle. But, um, as for over here, there's just a major brawl going on. There, uh, Suryoung, he charged his um, campaigning cab into the Swordmasters. Swordmasters, they're going to hold and actually do a lot of damage against these mercenary companion cab. Um, uh, sorry, um, he's trying to outflank um, for some mercenary campaigns, taking on some noble riders and some Germanic scout riders, but some units are going to rout um, this unit mercenary campaigning cab. And let's go ahead and take a look over here. Soryoung, he chased my Thessalian all the way over here. My Thessalian, I knew that it was going to die pretty much, so I turned it around to charge, try to charge through these um, Evacati cohorts to try to get to some of these Syrian archers, um, but they failed. Um, now they're taking, they're focusing fire on my Royal Peltas and trying to get them outraged into the forest, but I'm going to lose a lot of units in that, um, in 
at uh, Royal Sword, um, excuse me, Royal Peltas unit. So over here, I got the Roman Cavalry surrounded. I um, supported with some Hoplites. I have some Illyrian Levies going to encircle them, completely encircle them over here. The Roman player, he's using his missiles well. He's targeting, um, he's, tar he's targeting my units over here. I'm trying to bring up my Levy Pikemen, but let's take a look at what's going on over here. The battle pretty much went to the favor of um, to Vincula. Um, I think if Soryoung had committed all his forces over here instead of just trying to, because um, he did, he did um, throw some of his units into this battle. I threw some Illyrian levies into the late Libyan hoplites. Uh, now even have some pikemen trying to impale his men from the front. Uh, these hoplites got into uh, this unit of uh, campaign camp, so it's gonna take some damage. I mean, that's a real expensive unit. Um, the Hoplite, not the best way to take out cavalry, but it'll, it'll help. So, pretty much, um, Soryoung's forces have been defeated for the most part. He still has a lot of camp handings. He brought five of those. Um, but it's only a matter of time before I route the Roman cavalry over here, which will kind of open things up. Um, I'm even discharging some javelins into the Praetorian Cav with some, um, my Peltas. Um, I'm, for the most part, I'm holding in the center um, with my Pikemen and Hoplite. This unit of Hoplite, only 46 kills, but they have to go against Campanion and the Ducati cohorts, so um, it's, a good, it's a relatively good trade-off, I believe. That unit can buy me time. I'm trying to shift my Levy Pikemen forward because I knew that Hoplite was going to break eventually. Um, and now Soryoung, he's going to take all his cav. He knew he, he lost the battle against um, Vincula, so he's going to run and try to help his um, uh, his ally. And it's, I think it's at this point that the um, that Geo he lagged out of the game, and now it's just the CPU controlling the units. And now Soryoung, he's going to go with a major um, flanking movement. I try to move some units of Royal Peltas and my general to um, by by my units of time because I knew that these companions can totally outplay my units with these Romans attacking my levies from the front. Um, I'm in, I am impaling a whole lot of them, but the problem is I'm not going to kill them quick enough um, with those levy pikes. And those uh, archers are just raining hell upon my men. This unit's got 65, that one's got 50. Yes, a whole lot of kills. And now I'm trying to flank these ar archers with some javelins. Um, then eventually, I think I do train them upon these Evocati cohorts, which I should be doing. But let's take a look over here. Let's go into insert action mode. Um, that looks like they changed the armor skin for these royal Peltas. Uh, so yeah, he's going to charge his um, Evocati into my men, and they are going to get a pretty devastating charge. Um, these royal Peltas, I mean, they they can't hold out against the mercenary campaign cap, but they, with the uh, companion cap having a bonus versus infantry, it can still be pretty uh, devastating. And he used a intimidate against my general, so I can't use any of my general uh, abilities right now. So Vincela, he's rushing forward his men. Uh, and my use of Aspis companions, I'm trying to use them to take out these archers. Uh, but yeah, a whole lot of my units are routing on the flank. On the left flank now, he got some cab in my back lines and my my um. My attempt to try to hold off his units on the left failed. Um, he's at, I should have done a better job with my Royal Peltas. So Soryoung did very good with what he had left of his army to try to uh, take out mine with the Roman trying to pin me down. Um, but that allows uh, me to get reinforced by the still um, healthy um, uh, uh, Swebby. Um, Vincela, he's ru rushing forward. I pretty much lost all my left flank after that assault. All my levy pikemen and hoplites pretty much just liquidated. Um, you see my general over here. He is getting getting destroyed. He's going up against some Evocati and um, Campanian Cat. Not very good. Uh, not very good for my units. Um, but I am trying to make the best out of it. I got some hoplites trying to take out some of these um, campaigning cab. Um, still, I still got a unit of 141 uh, hop, 
hop lights left. I got this unit of Peltas. It's out of ammunition, but I can bring it back to the battle. Uh, my companions are trying to get into this, these Evocati and trying to take them out. I think I lost... I don't know, I haven't lost my companions yet. Not a whole lot of kills with my companions, though. A um, hundred... Just over a hundred. It's not too, too bad, but... I was able to take out uh, two years of Praetorian Cav with them. Although they were aided by Hoplites and uh, Illyrian Levies. Um, but for the most part, I lost pretty much all my units after that Cav charge by Soryoung. Um, if it weren't for... The, if it weren't for those companions uh, getting in my back lines, I think I would have held the Roman long enough to get some um, rear charges with my camp, my uh, Aspis companions. But here now it's just a huge brawl. Um, yeah, some more of my levy pikemen have fleed. Um, the um, the Evocati cohort just tore through them. Um, I'm trying to chase down these uh, companion cav my Aspis, um, I, I think my Aspis actually routes yeah, he sends in more Aspis campaign, I mean, uh, uh, campaigning calves are, or actually, no, that's the general's bodyguard, so they finished off my calves, so now I only have left are these two units of Peltes and Hoplites, and I'm, here I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to run down the, uh, last remaining campaigning cap, but I run straight into these Evocati cohorts, and that was a bad thing. Um, those Peltes were torn up exactly as you're seeing right now. Look at that. So I'm trying to run that unit out of there. Uh, I know I'll, I'll lose that hoplite if I just leave it in that battle. That, uh, that's a fresh unit Evocati cohort. So I'm trying to run it backwards, but eventually I just turn around and I'm trying. I try to hold it off while uh, Vince Lucky countercharges with some um, sword masters, and now that's pretty much the end of the battle right there. Um, sword Young, uh, he made some very good movements with his cab. He he knew immediately he was losing the battle on his side, so he uh, turned around. He had more cab mobility to do so and um, he tried to take me out so he could probably uh, perhaps uh, untip the, the, the battle but um, it was just too much for him to handle I think he lost too many of his own troops against Soria I mean uh, Vincela so let's go ahead and take a look at the statistics uh, not too many kills on my side um, yeah this Thessalian Cav got only 10 so not bad not very good at all the Javelin men not very good kills. Um, Peltes did all right. These hoplites, they did their their job. This unit, Illyrian Levies, got into a unit of um, late Libyan hoplites. This unit didn't. Um, Levy pikemen, only one of them got over 50 kills, so not that good. And the worst part about what I did or didn't do was I didn't get my Royal Peltes into a favorable engagement. I don't know. Uh, I think this unit. I mean, they got into some mercenary campaign and cab, which are devastating. I should have kept this Thessalian cab in my back line. I might as well have done that. Um, as for Suryong, these mercenary campaign and cab are, uh, you know, I'm not going to say they're, uh, I'm not going to say they're OP, but they're highly effective. Um, they're, I think they're cheaper than Aspis Companion Cav, and they have better uh, melee attack, which makes them real, I think, more effective than Aspis Companion Cav. Um, Late Libyan Hoplites, they did their function. They're not really meant to get a lot of kills. Um, even with this um, Carthaginian Cav in his general, he got some good kills. His Libyan infantry was inferior to Vincela's. Um, dramatic Scout Riders not going to get a lot of kills unless they get into some skirmishers. Um, Noble, Noble Riders got almost 300 kills. So very good job using those. Uh, dramatic use only 27. Um, probably know, firing into some infantry or something. Uh, these berserkers pretty much did, they did pretty well. Um, some of the spear levies did all right. Um, sword masters, they cleaned up. And these bone spears probably killed a lot of cav and other units. Um, so you know, let's take a look at Rome's kills. Not a whole lot of kills with this cav. Um, 81, 32, and 10. Um, uh, at first, I didn't see his calf, but eventually I did, so that allowed 
So good thing I charged in front of him, uh, or he charged me. Uh, if I had charged him, I think it would have been a lot better um, for my calf. But so he got some kills on my dudes. Auxiliary, Syrian archers, they seem they did pretty well actually, especially shooting. Or they took out a lot of my royal peltas when they were focusing fire with heavy shot. Uh, Evocati cohort, so so many kills, but um. But yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the battle right there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to uh, to my channel. I'm Unrivaled Skyrim, and thanks for watching. Peace.